Hey, this is Frederick Le Guin from the website excelexercise.com and today I'm going to show you a very interesting trick. It's how to select a colon with blank cells because as you know in Excel, when you have a colon full of data, you just have to press control arrow down to reach the last cell and of course control arrow up to reach the first one. Very simple. But like in the colon F, when you have a lot of blank cells, each time you press control arrow down, the selection stopped each time you detect a blank cell. And again, and again, and again. So if you want to create the function count, if for instance, you have to select the whole colon F with all the data, but with a shortcut control arrow or with a mouse, it's very difficult because the colon is very big. So what you have to do is to use the trick I'm going to show you. But in reality, it's not one shortcut, but two that I have to show you. The first one is a shortcut F5. What is a shortcut? F5 is just the way to write here in this text box the reference of a cell. So for instance, if I write B1, I press OK. Now my active cell is B1. Another example, C12. OK, it's very easy to understand. Now, here is another shortcut. It's the shortcut F8. And look what happened here in the status bar of Excel. If I press F8, I activate the mode Extend Selection. What does it mean? In fact, from my active cell, if I click here, for instance, I select all the cell between my active cell and this one. Another example here. But of course, like that in a range, it's not very interesting, except if you select in the same colon. OK. So now with a combination of these two shortcuts, it's very easy to select a colon with blank cell like this. So first I deactivate the extend mode selection F8 again. And I go to the bottom of my document, control a row down from the colon A where there is no blank cells. Let's write here in this cell equal count if, and now I have to select my range with blank cell. So I select first this cell, the last one of my selection, and now I activate the mode extend selection, F8, and now F5, and I write the reference that I want to reach. And of course, because it's the first cell of the colon F, it's F2, F2 because F1 is a header. And that's it. OK. And you'll see now I have selected all the cell between F2 and F15413. Very simple. I just have to finish my formula. And that's it. And of course, because it works for the colon, it works as well for the rows. So now another example. I reach the last colon. How many cells are populated in this row? So count A, open parenthesis, I select this cell, F8, and F5 to write the reference, A3, enter, and that's it.